You need to stop Ernesto. There's a fungus in this stream that could make him sick. We'd better keep an eye out for Ernesto before he gets too close to the stream. Already after him. Hello. Oh, have you spotted Ernesto? No, this is a call for help. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I've got this. Ah, Ernesto, please stop. It's too dangerous. Don't you mean delicious? Do not worry, Bunny. Trout only eat frogs' eggs. I am much too big to fit in their mouths. <gasps> but not too big to fit into that coral snake's mouth. Uh -oh. Vamoose! What a frog. Now there is a rare delicacy. <laughs> Disappointing. Perhaps this fish biscuit will make up for that. Mmm, tasty. Gracias, Bunny. Now you will take me to my new family. I'm afraid the water in your cousin's stream will only make you sick, mi amigo. But I have waited so long to meet them. I know, but don't worry. They're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> So sorry to drop in, Dashi. Are those my... <coughs> mis primos! Mis amigos! Amazing rescue. Is everyone all right? We are fine, Senor Pedro. I only wish we were not separated from our new cousin. I have waited ten years not to be alone. What is a few more days? Splashing news, my friends. Your stream is clean and free of fungus. And so are the water frogs. <laughs> Does that mean? It's time to welcome your new family into their new home. It is a very nice home, Ernesto. It is even nicer with company. Amazing. They never even knew each other existed before. And now it's like they've known each other all their lives. Kind of like when I met you guys. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> oh, we're glad we found you too, Barney. Winkle, you silly otter. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm leaping like a salmon. That's great, Periwinkle. I learned the names of all the fish here because I'm going to grow up to be a scientist. Just like you and Uncle Shellington. Well then, this is the perfect vacation spot for you. All the native creatures and plants in the Great Lakes region live in harmony, relying on each other for food and shelter. It's a perfectly balanced ecosystem. But Mum, it doesn't look so perfect. Oh, I don't understand. It's usually so lovely here. I wonder what happened. It was Carl! Carl? What kind of fish is that? A selfish one. He moved in here, chased most of the other fish away and ate all of the plants. Even worse, he's still at it. Yikes! No. And now there's hardly enough grass for me to nest in. He won't stop eating, I tell ya. Well, let me try and talk to him. Uh, excuse me, Carl. Could you please not eat so much? It's making it quite difficult for the other animals around here. That's their problem. I'm gonna eat as much as I want. <laughs> That wasn't very nice. You think that wasn't nice? Carl just stole my food, and I'm hungry. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Yeah. The current. Huh? Ha-ha! Uh-uh, gotta swim faster. Yeah. Ready? Hey. Over here. Oh no! Kashi's being swept away by that 
embassy current! We have to save her! Uh, agreed! But who's going to save us? All right, now how do I get back out? You can't touch me forever! That's right, and there's no one here to help us. Oh, maybe there is. What was that? All the pod responding to call. The black and whites. Oh, they don't usually patrol this reef. I can't let them nab me. I better beat it! Good thinking, Shellington. The only thing that can scare a big fish is an even bigger fish. Well, yes, but technically orcas are dolphins, which are mammals. There's a shark, sir. Should we nab him? Forget it. It's Coral Reef. We'll never find him in there. The current that carried me ashore was strong. But then I realized, if those baby eels got caught in it too, they had to be somewhere close by. Ow! Oh, I swear you were stepping. You said that? I did. <gasps> baby eels! You're so transparent that you're practically invisible. No wonder no one saw you. Koshi, are you all right? <laughs> yes, and I found the missing eels. Hi, when we're little, being transparent helps protect us from predators. Amazing! Your family has been very worried. We, we want, want to go, go home! I think we can help with that. You found them. Oh, how can we ever thank you? Just doing our jobs. Uh, how about a family picture? Everyone say seaweed. Seaweed! And that's how the Mystery Sisters and Shellington closed the book on the mystery of the missing eels. Whoa! Wait till I tell the others about this. <laughs> it's a much easier way to fly. We should catch up with them soon. Not soon enough. I'm picking up a storm up ahead. It looks like a doozy. And it looks like it's heading straight for the butterfly swarm. Everyone, take cover! Oh, somewhere! We butterflies protect ourselves from storms by clinging on to trees. But there's no trees around here. Maybe not. But what if we used the octo ray to shield them from the wind? Worth a try. But we'd better hurry. Because that storm's turning into a full blown tornado. Activating turbo mode. <laughs> I declare! Is that you, little Tex? You need shelter. Follow us. Oh, don't have to tell us twice. Hang on, everybody. This maneuver's gonna be tricky. <laughs> that looks like a tree. Or close enough. Let's go. Can the Octo Ray make it through this? It has to. <laughs> I got to ride in that big butterfly. Oh, thanks for finding little Tex, partners. And thanks for saving us from that tornado. It was quite an adventure for all of us. But now we're heading for Mexico. Care to join us? Oh, there it is. Home sweet home. Oh. This calls for a celebration. A fiesta! <laughs> Thanks again, Octonauts. We couldn't have made it without your help. Have some milkweed. Oh, <laughs> if it's all the same to you, I think we'll stick to our leftover kelp chili. Suit yourself. <laughs> Yippee! 
It sure is a spooky looking night out there, Grandad. Hi, Quasi. A perfect night to be sailing the high seas in search of the legendary Mystery Island. Uh, Mystery Island? Uh, Mystery Island? According to pirate lore, Mystery Island is like another world. Another world? You mean an island stranded in outer space? Where pirates go to dig up sparkly moon rocks? Oh, and I bet it's guarded by invisible aliens. The few poisonous red ooze that can melt anything in its path! <coughs> Not sure about that part, Quasi. <coughs> what is it, Pete? <coughs> Rogue Way! Hang on, mateys! When the wave goes high, we go low! Are you sure about this, Grandad? As sure as a pirate can be, Quasi. So, pretty sure. You make these all right. Yeah. Oh, another way! <laughs> Pete, the windshield. Brace for impact! Oh, you're awake. I usually prefer my meals a little less lively. Oh. Guess I'll just have to crack open this egg I found. <gasps> well, in all my years sailing the seven seas, I've never seen a bird use sticks and stones as tools before. <gasps> oh, that's nothing for an Egyptian vulture like me. Watch, I'll have this egg cracked open in no time. Uh, uh, maybe you'd like something tastier than an egg? <laughs> See? All it takes is the right tool. Wait, that's not my egg. Mmm, but it sure is tasty. Plenty more where that came from. We've got a whole stash on the gup R. Where is the gup R? That rogue wave must have washed her out to sea. You know what that means? No more yummy snacks for me. Worse, it means we're stranded. This place is full of strange alien trees and plants. Huh? And butterflies with eyes on their wings. Yow! And that tree's alive! They're just snails, Quasi. What if that rogue wave launched us clear into outer space and Mystery Island is actually on a whole other planet? Right now, the only mystery about this island is how we get off it. Aha! Now I just need something to ride with, and we can send out a message in a bottle for help. This island is large with lots of beaches, and there are no signs of mice or other predators that would prey on the eggs. It's perfect! Oh, it looks like some other seabirds have already figured that out. Oh, what about the other side of the island? Lots of open space to build nests, no predators, and not overcrowded. Oh, now that really is the perfect albatross nesting ground. Captain, we found a new nesting ground. Excellent, but hurry back. The storm's almost here, and now we have to protect an egg. An egg? On our way, Captain. <laughs> And not a moment too soon. I just hope we can last until Dashie and Pearl get back here. What do you mean, Matey? Look at it. It's rock solid. Maybe solid enough for that wave, but they keep getting bigger. Octonauts, race the barrier. I hope Gashi gets here soon. What in the world is happening? The storm we were trying to warn you about. It's finally hit, Katie. Oh dear, we hate storms. Always, always have, have, always will. Let's 
go! Attention, Albatross! Follow us! Shiver! Whiskers! There's nowhere to go! Nowhere to go, but up! to your new nesting ground. You heard him, everybody. We always stick with our eggs. Always, always have, always will. Hold on. You don't leave any paw prints in the sand. Of course not. Sand cats have special fur on our paws. It protects us from getting burned by the hot desert sand and from sinking down into it. See, no paw prints. Mmm, that little cat looks like a tasty treat. Wait, I hear something. Sounds like a sand viper. <gasps> Stay back, you scurvy snake. Or oh, we'll... We'll... <laughs> or you'll what? <laughs> Watch out, he's venomous. Leave this to me. Pesky sand cat. <laughs> Can't catch me! Yeah, well, I caught some of you. <laughs> ah, too slow again. Ah, oh, these cats are too much work. Well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. How'd you do that? Fighting off vipers is just part of being a sand cat. Otherwise, those pesky snakes would get into all of my food hiding places. Cost me one of my whiskers, though. You may be a small cat, but you're as tough as any pirate. Thanks. And you guys are almost as tough as any sand cat. Just a little more. Perfect. Thanks, Dashie. Oh, this is wonderful. Such a beautiful, healthy tree. Thanks for your help, Octonauts. I say, Tweak. Does the Terragup have an instruction manual? It sure does, Professor. Right below the console. Why? I'm being pursued by some very persistent howler monkeys. I told them they had to move to a new tree and they didn't take it at all well. Keep them moving, Inky. Maybe we can lead them to a healthy part of the forest. I agree. Moving seems to be the best plan. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, when traveling up steep inclines, make sure the primary graspers are engaged. Oh, well, that goes without saying. You know, I think I'm getting the hang of it. Oh! Hey, why are you chasing us? What? That can't be right. After him! Ooh, 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 ooh. You're doing great, Inky. Follow that branch to the next tree. Oh, I'm afraid that branch doesn't quite reach anymore. But I have an idea. <laughs> well, I'll be. Brilliant, Inky. Now the howlers can run across to their new home. <laughs> oh, but it will not work. We're not leaving. Now, with my apologies, we must once again force you to leave. Oh, me oh my. You're trying to knock the Terrigal five out of the tree. <laughs> leave our friends alone. Fine. We know better than to mess with harpy eagles. Ooh, how dare you chase us into a new tree with more leaves and play to eat and, uh, ooh, better places to sleep. Maybe we should just stay. Oh, right. Uh, actually, we will take this tree too. So, with uh, apologies, it is ours now. So, uh, I guess, thank you. Mission accomplished, Cap. The eaglet is safe in his nest. The caimans are unstuck from the mud. A lot of thirsty creatures have water. And the howler monkeys have a new home. Thanks to Inky. Uh, uh, aye, but these issues are part of a much bigger problem that will continue. Then we'll need to continue to check up on the rainforest and do whatever we can to help. And now we know the Terragup 5 is the perfect way to get around this place. In fact, who's up for a quick tour? 
That sounds like a wonderful idea. Uh, you sure you know how to drive this thing, Professor? Of course, Quasi. I read the manual. Now, hang on! <laughs> to the Octoray. Wow, look at that! I'm Captain Barnacles. I like to go with the flow. Above and beyond!